Okay, everybody, today we have a really special project planned. We are going to learn to draw our favorite animals using nothing but our thumbs. Do you want to learn how? Okay, let's go do it together. All right, are you ready to get started? Can you tell me what this word is? B-I-R-D, bird. The first thing we're going to draw is a bird. So first we take our thumbprint, see, there it is, and put it right in the middle. Now, what does every bird have? Every bird has a beak. Hmm? And birds have a little eye, a little tail, and two little feet. But is this bird missing something? I think so. Birds also have wings, right? Chirp, chirp. Here's our little bird. Do you know how to read this word? C-A-T. It spells cat. Today we're going to make a big purple fuzzy cat. All right. Now, all cats have two ears, right? They've got two little eyes. A little triangle for a nose. Oh, look how happy this cat is to see you. And the cat has four little legs. Now the cat's still missing something. Do you know what it is? You're right. The cat is missing its tail. There you go. The cat is ready to play. But oh no, the cat doesn't have a toy. Well, we can fix that, right? Let's give the cat a ball of yarn with a little string coming out of it. Cats love playing with strings. Can you read what we're going to draw next? P-I-G, pig. Next up, we're going to draw a little pig. All right, pigs are usually pink, but I only have red ink, so we're gonna use red ink to start our pig. Now, what's the first thing you think of when you think about a pig? Their big funny nose, right? It's called their snout. Pig snout, and look, this pig is happy to see you too. Now we're gonna give the pig two little ears and its signature curly tail. Now what else is missing from the pig? You're right, the pig needs four little legs so it can go for a walk. The next animal we're going to draw is a, can you read that? F-I-S-H. It's a fish. Let's draw a green fish. We start with our thumbprint. Now, what does every fish have? Every fish has a little tail and fish have fins to help them swim. If you've ever seen a fish in real life, you'll also know that fishes have little scales all over their skin. And this little fish has an eye and a mouth. Look, he's happy to see you. Now, can you think of another thing this fish needs? I thought so. Fishes love to blow little bubbles. Bloop, 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 bloop. Right, the last animal we're going to draw today is a, can you read that word? B-U-N-N-Y. It's a bunny. So we'll get started by giving the bunny a nice fluffy yellow belly. Now what's the most distinctive part of a bunny? You're right, it's his big long ears. Whoop, whoop. Hmm? The bunny has two little eyes, a cute little nose, and look, the bunny's smiling because he's about to go on an adventure. Do you know what else a bunny has? You're right. Bunnies have a fluffy little tail. Okay, little bunny. Look, this one's ready to hop away. It says, see you later. Bye. Okay, so what did you think? Was that fun? I love drawing with my thumbs because it's easy and anyone can do it. Next time, we're gonna work on how to draw faces with our thumbs. Okay, see you then. Bye. 